Oh my god. Is that a... Could it be? A monkey? Who's putting on a hat? Not any kind of hat. Wait. Is that... An evil monkey? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I played... Uh, I played this game as a kid. And, uh... It was a lot of fun, <laughs> but I... I don't think I ever quite understood how to actually play it. I mean, that's the, the story with, with most of the games that I played as a kid. And... I do remember it being fun. So yeah, hopefully it'll be fun. I do... I played the European version, though. I don't know which version this is. I think this is the American one. And if I recall correctly, the European one had, like, horrible, uh... Terrible, terrible, like, voice acting. Like, even as a kid, when you normally don't think about voice acting. As a kid, I was like, what is wrong with everyone's voices? Why does this girl sound like a grandma? Uh, which is typically a sign of bad voice acting, when even kids are like, this is unbearable. <laughs> Please. I, I was going to. Hey, Spike! Did the professor mention just what his new invention is? I don't know. Oh. But he's been acting really weird lately. Yeah, yeah. I feel like talking about girls, except it's like monkey girls. Kind of weird. Monkey girls? Well, I don't know. Sounds kind of. I mean, it's definitely weird. American, but hey, uh, yeah, it's not like. Up. It's not as if this is anything to brag about. Oh, boy. What up, monkey fucker? Oh, Spike, it's <gasps> bad. The monkeys have learned to tight me up, just like I tied them up. Hold on, wait! No, that's the button to my time travel master bedroom! Whoa, wait. Warning. Am I am I supposed to be commenting on this? I'm 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 just trying to get involved myself in the plot and the lore, you know. I'm like, what are these monkeys up to? What is their end goal? Yeah, what, what, wow. what, what, what are they doing? <laughs> what, are, what is your end plan? You're just looking evil. You can't just look evil. I mean, you can't really talk. It would have helped if you could speak. Then we, then we would know what his actual plan I is. Like, what the- believe this! I actually can't deal with this right oh. now! This is fucking bullshit! What the hell are we doing in there? Some kind of man-monkey kissing party? Professor, oh, I think you're mistaken. That's what we're trying to get away from! Hmm. So, it's a time travel? I, I don't think I ever understood that as a kid, that it's supposed to be time travel. Oh, Is that Spike, right? Spike, you damn weasel, you damn rat! Oh, I know damn well you're what you were up to. I'm taking advantage of an old man like that, and mm -hmm. I spent the last of my pension on that time travel machine, and then imagine all the money I spent on renovations yeah, wow. and labor was free. But the renovations! And that's not tax deductible, that's not some kind of easy write-off. This is all for leisure, Spike. This was meant for my retirement plan. Well, that and indoctrinating wow. people on a global scale. For okay, so time. it's just world domination. We could change the world what he for wants. the better, where man and monkey it's are going to safe. go back and change humans from the world. The idea of spending a lot of time with monkeys. Maybe that and starting some kind of YouTube channel or something where I slowly indoctrinate my audience to think all of this is okay, but change plans, Strike. I have an important mission for you. Grab some stick or club or lights to eat or something and beat the ever living shit out of every monkey you see. I need you to bring god bring goddamn monkey back here right now. No time for monkey business. Just get every monkey right now. I'm not gonna live forever. I'm uh, eighty free or something. Spend monkey. I hate the my monkey business pun. It's like, do you, is that all there is? Monkey business. It's a, let's see how the controls are. I think I remember being really confused about the controls as a kid. I'm going for it. No, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, I haven't really done a thing. Tilt the right stick and swing the stun club in any direction. Beat the enemies by swinging and turning the stun club around. You can also make the monkeys fall down. Press the R1 button to jump. So, but yeah, we get it. Wee -woo. Wee -woo. Wee -woo. Okay. Easy. So I just chase the monkeys and hit them? Ow. So, am I supposed to do this? Oh yeah, I got him. I guess so. 
That's pretty easy. Um, I figured this would be a good final game before I end the Monkey VTuber avatar. Simply because, uh... Uh... <laughs> my friends didn't want to watch my videos. Because they were scared <laughs> by the Monkey VTuber avatar. I'm sure everyone else loved it. I'm sure everyone's like... No, oh no, the Monkey VTuber avatar, I loved it so much, it's so precious. Um... I'm sure everyone's like, I can't believe it's gone. I can't believe it's going away. Uh, how will anything ever replace it? <clears throat> there we go. But everything has to come to an end. Alright. <laughs> Maybe it'll come back someday. Um, yeah, I don't even know what I'm gonna use next. And, but, but I do know that people, I'm sure more people enjoyed it than people were terrified <laughs> by it. But I think it, it was enough people who were like, actually, this is horrifying. <laughs> I don't, I don't like it. I can't keep watching. Oh, what is this place? I have no memory of this place. But I, I, I think, I, I never played the second game. I think it was an Ape Escape 2. And I never played that one. But, um... Apparently that one is also good, so maybe we can do a comeback for that at some point. Maybe for anything monkey related. Practice here if you forget how to use a gadget. Well, that's good, that's handy. You know, the PS1 had a decent, like, chunk of games. I have so much... I think... Maybe I've talked about this before, but, like, um... I have so many fond memories of a Nintendo 64. And I think part of that as, is that as a kid, I, I didn't, I couldn't speak English and I couldn't really read English. I could like vaguely understand what was going on through doing stuff. Like everything here, I played this game, but I didn't understand any of this. Um, and I feel like the, like I don't, I didn't even read that, so I don't know, I just want to finish what I'm talking about. I think I have more fun memories of Nintendo 64 because uh, you didn't re really need to comprehend as much as you had to with PS1 games. And all my friends had Nintendo 64 games, and the Nintendo 64 had like such good multiplayer games. Whereas the PS1 had better single player games, I feel like. Alright, let's read. Okay, I can't read it. Can I not? Okay, we hit it. This is the mini game corner. To play a mini game, gather the spectre coins hidden in the stages. Once you collect the number of spectre coins on the monitor, you can play that mini game. Okay, so that is why I was collecting that stuff. That that is what I collected. All right. Um, I do re recall as a kid being really puzzled by this like lightsaber kind of thing because I was like, "Holy crap! That is so cool! A lightsaber! I have a lightsaber in this game." But I was so conflicted because it was like, well, it, is this ripping off Star Wars? Because it's like, <laughs> I don't know, I think that was the first point as a kid where I became aware of like, is this ripping off Star Wars? I think it's cool that I enjoy this, but what, should, should I care about the copyright? And I was probably like eight years old or whatever. What is the monkey book? These are all the monkeys I've got, I guess. Alright, cool. Georgie. Noong... Noonan. Noonan. Georgie. Natty. Natty. Alright. Alright, I'm ready. Send me to the... Alright, I love, I love these kinds of selection. Like, map selection stuff. The water net appears when you are in the water. Swim around using the left stick. Exit the water by jumping near the surface of the water. Use the R1 button. Jump. All right. I think I skipped something, and maybe I'll be confused by it. But uh, that's what you have to deal with sometimes. I would just rather learn by doing, you know. I'm not the kind of guy who's all about reading and being like, I have fully understood what this is talking about. Just. And I feel like that's good game design too, when it's like, you know by experimenting on your own. 
Wait, what? Okay, I probably need to read what, if this is anything of importance. Press speed right stick and to launch the net. Use it to catch monkeys in the water. Oh. So yeah, you know, sometimes it's handy <laughs> because I probably wouldn't have caught this otherwise. I still feels like a tutorial. That's fine, but you know. Who are you? <laughs> By the way, green hair girl. Who and what are you? This is a nice atmosphere. It's so nice and calm. Are you good? just gonna sit there? No. Mm. Oh man. Mm. It's not. It's not me. Yeah, hell yeah. It's not you know greatest controls. Wait, where did you go? Mm. Mm -mm. Right. How? You can hit me. Man, that would have been devastating if I was a real monkey. Imagine this pixelated, I mean, polygon character with a scratched up face, unable to see. Would have been kind of fun as a game mechanic. Man, dinosaur, that's cool. Gotcha, monkey. You're cornered. You're cornered. Mm. Get. Damn it. Gotcha. I'm doing what? Highlight? Pilates? Pilates? Gotcha. 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 You got a monkey. 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 Ah, <clears throat> oh, man. Yeah, oh, got it. Monkey. Gotcha. Maybe I should try more PS1 games because, I don't know, oh, damn, that's a straight up dinosaur. The T-Rex is very aggressive and won't be hurt by your weapons. Uh, hit the T-Rex and run to the rocks. When the T-Rex runs after you, jump out of the way. If he hits his head hard enough, the T-Rex just might drop that monkey. Wait, he has a monkey in his mouth? Is that right? Mm. Whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's uh, very Mario 64. Oh, there's a monkey over here. I'll, I'm fine. I don't need that monkey. Oh my god, I, I could have just snuck up on him. Just hit him for no reason. Yeah! I love monkey crime. Love when a monkey performs a crime. Love doing crime with monkeys. Yep, that includes hitting monkeys with my monkey hitting stick. Yeah, I had a rough childhood. At 10, I, my professor sent me uh, through a time machine to hit monkeys and capture them. Not all monkeys made it. Not all monkeys made it, bro. Look what I've got all right. a new gadget. Check it out. We give you this gadget for hitting more monkeys. Oh, oh whoops, I skipped. I did not mean. You're, you'll figure it out. What is this? The monkey radar is a gadget for finding monkeys. Turn the radar by rotating the right stick. The sound changes when a radar detects the direction of a monkey. The closer you are to the monkey, the louder the sound will get. You can find them easily by rotating the right stick. Hmm. Mm. Monkey in here? Oh. 
Ah, uh, hello, mysterious green hair girl. Warning, capture six months. I'm really curious about the second game now. Maybe I should give that a shot because I, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I don't, look. I think I understand now why I stopped playing this game as a kid because yeah, it is a bit repetitive with like controls that are not too good. <laughs> like, ah, shit. I don't know. I guess the controls are maybe fine. Oh, whoa, monkey. That's a cyan monkey. That's a rare monkey. Shit. That's a yellow monkey. That's a rare monkey. God damn it. That's not really a rare monkey, even. Oh my god, it keeps stopping while running. Mm. Dang. I can't believe I freaking got wrecked like that. Oh my god, it's a different monkey. Ow, ow, ow. Too close. How did my throat ripped out? Ah, shoot. Yeah, gotcha. Gotcha. Operation Cyan Monkey is complete. Where did the yellow monkey go, though? Well, yeah, there you are. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I don't know how, how long I'm going to play this for. Uh, because I, I can kind of feel it getting a bit repetitive now. It's, uh, yeah, you, you, uh, oh shit, yeah, sunglasses. Oh man, this is gonna be a tough monkey to catch. Oh wait, never mind. Got him. <laughs> Don't mind me. Whoa, what the frick? Oh, I swear. Oh shit. I died. I mean, oh shoot. I feel like, oh shit, is worth saying if I'm dead. Ah, shit. Can I just walk into it? Okay, I could. Alright, never mind. Can you still get me, bro? No? Alright. Oh my god, <laughs> these controls. Oh my god. <laughs> Remember retro gaming? Um, back when games were good? I don't know. Games back then were just so much better. What happened to today's games? Ugh. <laughs> I hear a monkey. Mm. Monkey. I'm not here to hurt you, monkey. Oh, there it is. How about that? Is there anything I can do? Yeah, yeah. How about that? Gotcha. Alright, I'm getting the hang of it, maybe. 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 Ah. Shoot, I'm not... Oh. Didn't do it enough, maybe? Oh, there's no way I'm gonna make it in time. Yeah, there's... Oh, uh, swim, swim, swim. No, gosh darn it. Uh, why does this shine up, though? Can I just hit this? No. Just a bug? Alright. Swim, swim, swim. Oh, got it, got it, got it. I'm here to kill monkeys. Get fucked. Get fricked. Oh, there's uh, another monkey. I need to catch up. I was the last one. Oh, he has a gun? Get... Let me out. Got it. Yes. Hey, I'm pretty good at this. I gotta say, Matias is pretty good at capturing monkeys. It's almost like he had, he's had exper... I don't know, kind of weird experiments in real life or something. Is that weird to think from him playing this video game that Matias might have actually tried to capture and handle monkeys in real life? Is that an odd thing to think? I'm not sounding too weird, am I? Dark ruins. Ruins of what? Of like a previous monkey civilization? Which era are we in? Yeah, I guess it is a previous monkey civilization. 
I'm sure this is not how it's supposed to be. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Watching Matias play this game, it, it, it feels really weird, right? I'm not the only one. It really seems like he's too invested in this whole monkey thing. I don't know, I'm kind of worried about him. What is he planning? Well, shit, I died. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll switch over to the second game now, because I'm kind of curious now. Like, oh, I, I did not mean to do that. Hey, everybody. I wanted to compare Ape Escape 1, 2, and 3, like the beginning of them, but turns out it's actually impossible to emulate Ape Escape 2 and 3. So I guess that's it. At final celebration of the Monkey VTuber avatar, Ape Escape 1, a little quick play play. And I have no clue what's going to replace it. <laughs> I've, not, I've not fought this through. Maybe it will make a comeback in the future for monkey-related things, and I, I, I'm trying... I don't know, I've tried experimenting with other stuff. Oh my god, I'm, I've, I've experimented with other avatars, but I can't get them to work, so I don't know if... I don't know if anything will replace it, maybe I'll just go without one. <laughs> I did this, and it doesn't work properly. Mm, and I, 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 I did this to experiment on, I don't think it would be like one of my girl drawings if I did it. It would probably be something different. So yeah, maybe uh, maybe it will have a cuter monkey. I don't know. I don't know. I'm open for suggestions or maybe just nothing for now. Goodbye, monkey. I mean, I didn't really have this avatar <laughs> for that long. But it's the end of an era, truly. It is truly the end of an era. I think I had this avatar for like four games <laughs> or something. But yeah. Goodbye, monkey VTuber.